Let's go on to it. Oh, uh, no yawning. <sighs> right? Let's go on to it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we did that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what are we doing today, guys? We're doing Crap. Nerf guns that you should not buy at all. These are the yes. worst Nerf guns ever invented by Nerf. If you buy these Nerf guns, you're probably not a good Nerf shooter. Well, they, well, no, it's our job to uh, educate the audience of what Nerf guns to buy because we've learned from these, from Nerf guns, or Nerf War, sorry, Nerf War videos, uh, <laughs> filming. When we filmed Yo, some of the Nerf... OMG. Okay, hold on, we'll get that. Whenever we filmed our Nerf War videos, we had so many jam problems. We had so yeah. many precision problems. We're like, okay, shoot the, shoot the target over there. And then the, the, the blaster doesn't do it. So <laughs> trust us when we say, do not buy these blasters. They are yes. terrible. Guys, right now, Crap. think in the top of your head, what is a blaster that you've experienced that you don't like at all? Because either jams, the performance is garbage, the durability is garbage. Jams come? I'll get but married. when it comes to our list, these are, the, these are the worst, okay? You guys ready to go? You guys yeah. ready to tell the audience these top five Nerf blasters that are absolutely terrible? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's get started. Okay, this list is not in any chronological order of worst to the absolute worst. It's just these are our top five worst blasters. All right, by the way, guys, this is the top five worst blasters of the Nerf elites. Starting at number five, or our first one to the list, is this garbage blaster. Hey, look, look at this, look, watch what happens. I can't even pull it back. There's the first problem right there. Can't even, you're 10, right? Yeah. He's 10 years old and he can't, it takes a grown man. I can't even, come on. It doesn't even, it's brish. I can't even, there we go. Boom! And then trying to do it again. It doesn't work. Watch, Eli, you try. It's not work, guys. This thing. I used to like this since I was little. It just, it doesn't work. It doesn't, nothing seems to work. Ah. So, we're just gonna toss this over into the garbage pile. <laughs> and call it a do not purchase blaster. Coming in at number four is Crappest. Well, what I, I can shoot it. So the priming mechanism, there's no problem there, obviously. But the problem is, is that this is a jam feeder. This sucker, watch, you pull it back and this is where you fix your jams. Yes, we've been going down this compartment so many times during filming and during Nerf Wars yes. that it's just like, okay, time, time, put them over Nerf War. Is there time? No, you gotta go find behind a tree or a bunker or something like that. So this, do, do not take this to a Nerf War. The retaliator is not good. This, this, no. I mean, it's okay, but it's not highly recommended. See the wall behind us? This is the elitist army of Nerf Blasters in the Elite, the Nerf uh, and Strike Elite series. We'll go over in another episode what are the top five Elite Blasters that you guys need to do the and Strike Elites. And so, you know, I want to do the honors and throw that into the garbage of the Hall of Shame. Exactly, that's where it belongs, in the Hall of Shame. Okay, coming in at number three, again, no chronological order, we have the good old Rapid Strike. Now, I know a lot of you guys are sitting there going, wait a minute, the Rapid Strike's not bad. Here's the problem with this blaster. It eats batteries like there's no tomorrow. These take, I think it's four C batteries, and you are changing the batteries. Like if you use this thing, maybe in every Nerf 4, and what we filmed four videos a month, so we'll say four times a month, you're changing batteries like every month. That's one of many reasons. The other one, this guy jams too. It's absolutely insane. We actually had this modified. We, we, we Our buddy who mods Nerf Blasters, he, we had it modified because out of stock, right out of the box, is terrible. It's absolutely garbage. And then the performance issue. You sit here, you rev this thing up and you shoot it and it goes meow, 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 meow. It's not anything. I mean, look at this. Even Nerf themselves knew, oh, maybe we did a bad job the first time around, so we'll make a second one. And we'll put it in the, uh, what is this, the Aki Strike series. And it's a smidge better, but yes. we still don't like this blaster, right? Yeah, Which is yeah. actually why we stopped using them in Stupid. Payback Time episodes. Eli, please do this gun justice and throw it away yes. into the pile of shame. Of crap! Thank you very much. 
launch. Number two, we have the rocket launcher. And the what? Do it again. Number two, we have the rhino fire. And it keeps getting jammed. And even this thing doesn't prime up. We have five of these. Look. Because we had to keep getting a new See? one and a new one. We literally it's have important. our mod mechanic right now Bad. fixing one of these because they they, they they just they jam. The jamming is really, really, really yes. bad. The push mechanism is, eh, it goes decently far. The performance yeah. isn't bad. Another thing too is it's really, really, really bulky. So if you wanna go into a Nerf War, eh, not really digging this for that. It's more of a, you put it on its tripod, and you which is fine. And then the battery life on this is, eh, it's okay. Just the jamming feature in this is really, really, really annoying. When it does get stuck over time, the durability of these little pistons out of the, um, the barrels out the front, are terrible. It was cool back in the day, but Nerf's made so many more, you know, a lot, a lot better gun, a lot better blasters, mm. that this is just now being placed in the pile of shame. Come here, we have to launch this thing. We gotta yeet it. Three, it's two, it. one, go. Strike, it's where it belongs. This is the worst of the worst. This was, the worst. This was, this, you're, you're giving it away a little bit. This is the worst. Never, yes. never, never, never buy well, this blaster. Never, 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 you guys ready to show them? Yeah. Never, 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 never get this. this is the blaster that's the crappiest one in the world. The Do world. not buy the long it shot. It has a long shot of ever reaching anyone's arsenal. I'll tell you that much. Okay, first Still off, arsenal. look at this. Yes, it comes into two blasters. Even this guy by itself, the priming, that's, it's one little piss. Why? The velocity of it's terrible. It's it's not cool at all. This has a built-in bipod, which is probably the only thing that's cool about it, so that way you don't have to put on an attachment of a bipod. But still, did you hear all crappy that, that listen? It's absolute garbage. And even worse is when they go, hey, the full complete set of the sniper is to put the two together, prime it. Every single time we shot this sucker, it went near. Yeah. It just dropped out the end of the barrel, or it never made it down the barrel, and it stopped about right about here, right, guys? Yeah. Oh, I think it was payback time nine or something. You guys were trying to snipe out of the out of the um, out of the treehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to embellish and put on special VFX to make these guns, these blasters, look awesome. I know. Because they're not. That completes the list. So I hope you guys have learned, have learned yeah. a lot in this episode. Do not buy any of these blasters that we mentioned. You will save your money. Use, like seriously, there's some pistols that are better. The small, tiny little pistols that are yeah. better than this sucker. Look, like look, even, even the that Rampage a has some, a tiny bit of jamming issues, but as long as they're loaded correctly in the magazine, you can rapid fire. Make sure you tell your parents too. Don't even surprise you guys nope. with those birthday pr uh, present surprises. Hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode whenever we show you the top five Nerf blasters out of the Elite series that you should definitely get. You do not want to miss it. It's that exciting. You do not want to miss it. See you next time, Bye. friends. Bye. Wasn't the video awesome? If you want to see more videos like this, click the Twin Toys icon below. There's so many more Nerf videos to see. So make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. And always remember, PBT all the way.